mic sounds nice. Mic check one, two. This is the Gus and Low Show, the grooviest podcast in the land, brought to you by QA Coffee, the best coffee in the land. Want to know more? Go to QA Coffee.com. That is QA Coffee.com. What the hell did you just <laughs> hit the raw friggin' button? Okay, here we go. We're picking up where we left off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know how we do, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Guns and Low Show. Thank you for listening. Uh, I consider it a pleasure to come before you for our, for all you listeners and loyal followers. A big thank you because I do not take this opportunity for granted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And hopefully, I'm going to hit the right button for our sponsor and and. Our Laura followers. As soon as I can follow it, picking up right where we left off. <laughs> That's for our sponsor. That is for you guys, all you uh, loyal listeners and followers. And if you're new, it's for you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am uh, Gus, aka the Nature Boy. Uh, Los, a.k.a. Mr. Concur, is on sabbatical. But like Jack Burton says, if I'm all you got, baby, I'm all you need. You heard? Yes, 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 yes. 2023, we are here. It's January 4th in the Midwest. And uh, as you will ascertain while listening to this podcast... You will hear sounds because I'm I'm in the wide open. I'm in I'm up I'm I'm, uh, I'm up under God's blue sky. You may hear some birds. You may hear wind chime. You may hear gunshot. I don't know. I I'm just saying. You just you're gonna hear some stuff. So if you hear some stuff, just know I'm I'm out in the elements and that's how I'm rolling. 2023. I'm gonna be everywhere, anywhere I can, anywhere that uh, um presents itself if you will so yeah so hopefully you guys had a great holiday season um christmas new year hopefully everybody's family's safe and sound and you know love was more importantly love was exchanged shots out or actually prayer still going up for that young man um that got uh, that suffered a heart attack, I believe, um, during the Buffalo Bills Cincinnati Bengals game. I did not watch the game, but you literally have to be under a rock not to have heard about it. Like I said, I didn't watch uh, the game. Um, I was actually bowling at the time, but I did receive a text. I was in a group text and a nurse who was actually in that atmosphere helping that young man you know uh, reached out sent some information um to somebody i know i'm part of group text and you know just happened to come across our feed or my feed or yeah so yeah so that's on that so prayers out to that guy um yeah so that's that so how's everyone doing hopefully you're doing well hopefully you're doing well it's uh and the reason why i'm outside because it's january it's January 4th, and it's 61 degrees in the Midwest. I believe if you look back, if you listen to the last podcast, it was one degree, and it was some terrible. Uh, I believe this part of the country thought uh, Mother Nature was on her period. I had an axe to grind. Uh, what's going to let us know as the new year ended, I'm still boss bitch. And now, in the Midwest... We go from that to 61 degrees. I said, why not? Why not take the time? I actually tried to do this last night, but I had a whole lot going on and um, just ran out of flipping gas. Flipping out of gas. But that's neither here nor there. So, um, this podcast, episode 42. <sighs> We talk about the new year as it relates to, you know, those individuals who decide, hey, why not uh, go for a resolution? Why not make a resolution? So I titled this podcast episode 42, 
of the Gus and Lowe Show. New year? New you? Kind of a question, not a statement, not a declaration. New year, new you. Really? We're going to dive into that. All righty, all righty. All righty, I got everything set. Um, so I have for my cigar, uh, fa- uh, fa- uh, <laughs> my cigar lovers, because I am tongue tied today. Uh, I have a beautiful tabernacle cigar. That's this is probably a six, six by five, six point five by fifty four. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke this for quite some time, and I'm actually sipping on. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm actually sipping on water and apple cider vinegar. Told you, I'm the nature boy. Six months in. Uh, actually, a little bit, a little bit over six months. No alcohol. Don't miss it. Not saying I'm never going to drink, but I, I don't have a reason to. Um, I believe we all have reasons for what we do and my reason really for drinking um if i'm really being transparent you know we all want to fit in we all want to be in with the click we want to be cool everybody wants to be cool everybody wants to be a mind the men want to be men and men drink alcohol with their cigars yeah that's cool been there done that uh let me tell you Tell you what, I'm running faster, lifting more. Uh, big dick energy is up. That's for damn sure. Uh, matter of fact, for real, for real, while we playing. Oh, yeah. Uh, morning wood. Yeah. Like I'm 30 again. Yeah. But I'm not 30, but I'm feeling 30. Yeah. Kawikadink? I don't know, but I'm just saying I don't need the alcohol. I don't need the alcohol to be crazy. I don't need the alcohol to uh, help me drift away from my inhibitions. I don't. But to all to all of you guys who partake, hey, continue. Enjoy. I'll even buy you a bottle. But as for me, what goes in this temple, um, I'm rather stringent. Let's just say that. Rather stringent. And after I finish this, I have some Korean uh, gin, uh, ginseng with the root in it. And this is not from the Sunoco store. Um, so I'm going to tell this little story before we dive in it because I'm not going to be long. Because uh, I got stuff to do. Um, so, yeah, my daughter, she wanted to, uh, she's into Korean, the, the Korean culture. And, you know, kudos to her. Uh, hope she takes up the language, becomes a translator, and boom, there it is. Um, she wanted to make a Korean dish. So I took her to an authentic Korean store. And you talk about a fish out of water. Wow. It was interesting. It was very interesting. I'll just say that. And let's just say I checked out when I saw a package of duck heads yeah I, I i checked out I, after that all i remember is um leaving the store because i couldn't believe what i was looking at or what was looking at me actually it was one two three i think it was four duck heads in the package wrapped up like we wrap up um hamburger meat beef duck heads yeah uh, with that said, I won't. I can't say I will not ever go back because they had this Korean ginseng drink, and I remember drinking this in my twenties. The real stuff, not the you know, not the stuff you see at the gas station. I'm talking. This is real. Matter of fact, this was actually for refrigerated, and you know it's real when it's refrigerated. This stuff cannot just be sitting out. I mean, I guess it can, but for me, from what I remember, this Korean ginseng drink with the root is best you get your optimal results when it's refrigerated and once again uh if the saying goes we are what we eat think about that think about that 
if we are what we eat, look around. Think about what you're eating. Mm. Are you happy with what you're seeing in the mirror? You can change. And this is the time for change because it's a new year. See how that all comes back. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You know what? La, 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 la. That deserves. <laughs> Here at the Gus and Lowe Show, we're all about enlightening. And we will, you will be enlightened or shocked or mortified one way or another. All right, so here we go. Let's dive into it. I got shit to do. All right. So the new year. We are here, 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for that. Wrote down a little notes, and then from there, we're just going to snowball through this. All right. New year. New year. Oh, man, I forgot the light on my tabernacle. It's just looking at me, staring at me. Like an angry black woman. What the fuck is wrong with you? You better light me up, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I got you lit, baby. Cause, man, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be good. Light you up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good day indeed. All right, back to it. Back to it. Actually, before I even dive in, shots out. Want to get a word? Give a word of mention to our other sponsor. Midwest Mobile Cigars. Midwest Mobile Cigars is a local business that caters to the premium cigar novice. To the premium cigar novice, even a fight. Ah, there's that word again. All right, we're going to work through this. Officiant, you see, oh my goodness. A fos, uh, fuck, even the expert. <laughs> the company continues to grow with services and the experience that customers desire. Midwest Mobile Cigars will always provide the service and needs that customers desire. To know more, go to mmc.com. That is mmc.com. Thank you, Midwest Mobile Cigar, for coming aboard. And if you desire or you know of anybody wanting to be a sponsor for the Gus and Lowe Show, you tell them to hit us up at the Gus and Lowe Show at gmail.com. That's the Gus and Lowe Show at gmail.com. All right, let's dive into this. Okay, we, we know one thing. I cannot say the A word. Aficiono. Aficiono. Oh, God. All right, we're going to work on that. All right, Mom. Sorry I can't talk to you today, but right now. All right, new year, new you. With a new year, as it is times. Oh, what the hell? Here we go. With a new year, it's as good as any a time to think about New Year's resolutions. Let's look at the word as it is defined. Resolution. The act or process of changing to a simple form, the act of answering, the act of determining. Now, with that said, we are gonna look up, as it's defined by Webster's, let, um, the word resolutes. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Listen to the wind chimes. Got a little breeze blowing through here. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. You know what? I had all this set up last night. I was going to do it last night. And. Of 
course now I'm not ready. Okay, all right. Resolute, marked by firm determination, resolved, bold, steady. So with that said, for you New Year's resolutioners, is it just, are you just talking? Or are you just talking because you heard a person next to you or you were listening, look, you know, looking at a program and it's like, oh, that's cute. I think I'll come up with it. <sighs> After reading the definitions, I submit that most folk are just flapping their gums as it relates to New Year's resolutions. You freaking wankers. A wankath. Why lie? What, hap what happened to being resolute? You have to be resolute. Uh, once again, I, I know in this society, you know, we're really flippant, you know, with our words. You know, we use word, we we use words like love, and we'll put that uh, with ice cream, food wasn't meant to be loved. Your family, your spouse, not freaking food. That's that's a dysfunction. You know, I've heard. You know, some people love alcohol. Once again, dysfunction. Some things weren't meant to be loved. You can you can like it, you can enjoy it a lot, but love, come on, we got really gotta watch that. And even for the people, um, you know, the New Year's resolutioners, come on, think about it. If you're not really gonna do it, why lie to yourself? Because you want to just be in be in the conversation. But I tell you what, there are industries making money off you. Let's look at the gym industry for a minute, for a moment, for, uh, for one. I'll tell you right now, Planet Fitness, they always come every year with the zero down. You know, you don't have to sign. You, you, don't, you don't have to put any money down. You just sign and they take it because they know you're not coming back past the second week. And guess what? They're going to take your money, take your money, take your money, take your money. What's up with that? You want to give away money? Heck, you can send it to the Gus and Lowe show. We'll use it. It'll, it'll do more good than what you're purposing it for at Planet Fitness or, or, or any gym membership. Come on, guys. Got to do better. Got to do better. All right. I'm a big truck. Once again, the question becomes, were you resolute when you said that? Whether it's whether it's join a gym, whether it's, I think I got some examples written down here. Uh, whether it is, whether it's losing weight, come on, it's gonna cost you something. Nothing is free. Even our words aren't free. Come on, we can say anything, but come on, you gotta, there's a price to pay. Whether that's good or bad, uh, depending on the context of the word, uh, whether that's losing weight, whether that's, you know, getting a promotion, want to learn a new language, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you time. It's being resolute. Uh, trying to stop whacking off. Um, I guess that's a goal. Yeah. Why not? I mean, yeah. Um, you know, get, OK, or, or get off porn or are you trying to. Lower your, you know, get out, you know, you're addicted to porn. Yeah. Uh, trying to stop being a hoe. Yeah, that's a goal. To, that's a goal to aspire to. Heck yeah. It's, gonna be, it's too many hoes. And you know what? I'm going I'm to I'm save that for another uh, podcast. I'm going to save that. So. Yeah, you have to be resolute. There's just no ways around it. Otherwise, you were just flapping your gums. And I, I read a statistic. For every 10 people, only one, one actually sticks to what it was they said, what, what they set out to do. And that's sad. And that goes back to those nine other people. They weren't resolute. They were just flapping their gums. They were, they were freaking posers. 
They're freaking wankers. They just wanted to be in the conversation. Once again, we're, we're loose. We're loose with our words. We are loose with our words in this society. The truth of the matter is New Year resolutions and diets. Put that in parentheses. Uh, do not stick. You have to make it a lifestyle. You, you have to graft this into you. Otherwise... Um, otherwise the new year changes on a point and on, on a post that you saw on social media or in the conversation you're in, your words were meaningless. Once again, you were just talking, just flapping your gums, just wanted to be in the conversation, not really meaning, um, what you were, says you were going to set out to do. Might as well be a politician. on we got we got enough of that we got enough of that um yeah we, we got enough of that from our politicians we we don't need the everyday common individual good lord I said it was good I think it was this freaking breezy uh we, yeah we got enough of that so come on people what's the real what's the real deal what's wrong with being resolute what's wrong with having some grit. Because that's what it's going to take. Nothing down here is free. Hell, even Dick ain't free. Pussy ain't free. For real, for real. Mm-mm-mm. Tell you what. If you're... If you are not resolute, then perhaps you need some Q&A coffee. <laughs> Q&A coffee helps improve your mental endurance. Q&A coffee is for thinkers like Los and I the Gus and Los show. To know more, go to Q&A coffee.com. That's the letter Q, the letter N, the letter A.com. Don't forget Eyes Wide, which is the first release, as well as North Star, which helps spur creativity. So... Yeah, so I recommend you get some Q&A coffee. I recommend you get around those people, individuals. You do those activities that's going to spur you to help you, once again, be resolute for your new for your new year resolution. See, that comes back around. See, it, see how it all comes full circle. Hot dang. Love it, love it, love it. Right, 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 right. Okay, and and you know, side note. Um, what the fuck is dry January? Let's see, dry dry January, and what is it? No shave. November, I believe. Where the fuck that shit come from? I'm a '70s baby. I don't remember that in the '70s. I don't remember that in the 80s and you know you do the math i don't remember hearing that until i don't know a couple years ago and i'm just like huh seriously what? i mean what, what? i mean we just coming up with shit cute shit but it's you know th there's just no there's no lasting benefit it's just something to do it's uh i equate it to Hey, I did this. Give me a trophy. The participation trophy. I didn't shave for a month. Okay. I mean, if that's the look you were going for, cool. But if you don't want to shave and for a month, I, I, that's fine. If you don't want to drink for, for the month, of, then let's just go back to dry, dry January month. Dry January. Sorry. So you withhold from alcohol. For the month of January. That's cool. Whatever. It's, it's cool. Only to go back. Let's see, do I have some notes in there? I think I do. Think, think. Okay. So you cleanse your body of alcohol for 31 days. 
Then go back to drinking like a pirate. What what was the purpose? I, I guess, you know, if you did do that, you know, you, you succeeded. Uh, okay, I guess you get an applause for that. Um, I equate that to a diet. If Because if you stick with it, you just may enjoy the benefits or see some benefit. Um, yeah, I don't understand. So you, you, you fast from alcohol and, and I guess this is not really a sticking point for me. Uh, you fast from alcohol for one month and then the rest of the month, you just, you just, you just plowing through. Okay. Okay. You, you, you accomplished your goal. Okay. Let, let's just stick with that. You accomplished your goal. I'm here to tell you, try to push past that. You may be surprised what you find. Matter of fact, within those 31 days, matter of fact, journal for everyone, um, for everyone who is doing the dry January journal, journal every day from the time you wake up, you know, just journal or, you know, in the middle of the day or at night, journal how you feel. Uh, are you having withdrawal symptoms? Uh, just see how you feel. Can you really make it without it? Because guess what? If you did it for 31 days and you're feeling somewhat good and to the people I have talked to, they said they feel great. Well, if you felt great for 31 days, why go back? Why go back to something that is going to have you feeling less than great? Curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. Just a question. Just a question. Hey, at the Gus and Lowe Show, we, we're all about questioning because we want to get down to the bottom of the nitty gritty. Trying to hit it in the, uh, hit the bottom. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right. Calm down, play. Calm down, playboy. Just a question. Yeah, I, I don't understand dry January. I, I really don't. I shake my head. Maybe it's not meant for me to understand. I'm on my course and everybody has to find their course. And they say sometimes the course, the journey picks you when it presents or, you know, when it presents itself. So with that said, it is what it is. So with that said, New Year's, you know, what do you do? Are you going to be a quitter? Are you actually going to quit? Have you already quit? This is day four. You know, some people ain't going to. Some people, for real, for real. Some people aren't going to make it. Shit, this may be today. They said, fuck it. I want to go back. I want my alcohol or... Um, wh whatever it is you're... Oh, fuck. Did I actually just drop? Mm. Yeah. I got to pay attention to this cigar. That's for damn sure. Shit has happened. Freaking bird trying to take my damn cigar. I'm telling you. Probably because next, I'm, I'm next to this bird feeder. It's waiting for me to get away so it can get its bird feed. Mm-hmm. Good times. Good times. Um, yeah, some people have already said, fuck it. I don't want to lose weight that bad. And, you know, if that's where you're at, that's where you're at. If you're a wanker, you're a wanker. Some people, I don't want the promotion. I got to work too hard. It's too demanding. It's going to cost you something. I don't want to learn this new language because I can't binge watch X, you know, whatever show. Come on, man. Seriously. Come on. Oh, man. What the hell is going on, people? What happened to the, resol what happened to the resolution? Guess you some people don't want to change. It just it, they they can hear it, they can think about it, but to walk it through, walk it out, change is hard. It is flipping hard. Hell, I got to make some changes. Um, 
I know during the month of December, and you know because of the holiday season, I took some liberties. I like Doritos, or that's my cheat, or that's my go-to snack. Um, read an article from a young man, and this guy is a cancer survivor actually, and uh, he mentioned some foods that they don't even sell, you know, in Europe, Japan, whatever. And one was flipping Doritos, the nacho flavor. God, dude, let me tell you, I like, oh man. I would go to Costco, Sam's, that big bag. It's not surviving tonight. That's how much I like it because I just want a snack. Um, but after listening to him, he enlightened me that it's, 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 uh, has MS, you know, on top of the food coloring. It has MSG, which, oh man, if you don't know, Google that. And made a lot of sense. And let's just say there are now two items when I go to Sam's. I'm sorry, I said Costco earlier. Sam's. Uh, when I go to Sam's, there are two items I will have to run past. The gummy bears. Actually, gummy bears is not even an issue no more. I've, I, I think in some, I, I beat that without knowing I actually beat it. But now it's Doritos. Can't I can't allow it. To just magically hop in my cart because that happens. You ever at the grocery store? You know, you, you know, you have your list and you're zooming and da, 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 and then all of a sudden you look up and there's a bag of powdered donuts or two because they were on sale. <laughs> Yeah, isn't, that, isn't it amazing how that happens when, when stuff is on sale? Psh, pow! There it is! In your cart! And when it's on sale, it's two! Or maybe three! <laughs> what a world we live in. What a world. I'm just an observer of the human condition. Just observe shit. But yeah, so, yeah. So, hey, you can do it. I'm telling myself I can do it. No more flipping Doritos. That's it. I'll have to choose. I'll, I'll pick an alternative. Like uh, celery. <laughs> or, um, now I do like uh, grapefruit. I like grapefruit. Um, yeah. Any other thing. Just... Yeah, I don't have to have the freaking Doritos. It's you know, it's just something. Once again, it's the MSG is fucking with me. These damn scientists, ladies and gentlemen, gotta watch what we eat. Cause if once again, if we are what we eat, who we says a lot about who we are. That's for sure. That's for sure. But hey, on a serious note, if you want to change. I want you to change. We want you to change because a better you makes you a better parent, better worker, better father, better son, better son, better spouse. Uh, and if we just take that ideology and run with it, oh man, we have a better world. And there it is. And there it is. All right. So, um, <clears throat> all right. I'm done with my no nope, one more squig one more squig of this concoction and ladies and gentlemen let's make no mistake about it water and apple cider vinegar I am not drinking this for the taste but once again this goes back to being resolute it's not about the taste I constantly have this conversation with my kids and first thing they say I don't like the way it tastes well, it's not about the taste. It's about the properties, the benefits of you know what you're putting in your body. Because the taste will lead you awry. That's for sure. And with all the chemicals, MSG, and oh my gosh, we're not even gonna go down that tangent. 
but um, and for those who's never had it, you may have heard of it. I mean, hell, it's been around forever. It's kind of flying off the shelves. Let me tell you, if you do drink it, please don't endeavor to go shopping afterwards. Make sure you're going to be home for about an hour. Because, and I want you to Google it, because of its many benefits. One is, <laughs> it will flush you out, my friend. It will flush you out like nobody's business. And for those who, uh, hmm, so Thanksgiving was what, uh, several months ago, back in November? If you ate chitlins or any of those items that was on my horrible food list and if you haven't heard that podcast go back just several podcasts ago this is episode 42 that was hmm, 38 39 if you ate any of that and particularly the chitlins that shit's still in you that shit those pig intestines are still in your intestines And your body's like, what the fuck? We can't process it. It, it. It's still there. I submit. Get you a eight ounce glass of water, eight, eight to ten ounce glass of water. Tablespoon. Tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. In fact, if you do it, if you're listening to this, if you do it, text me and not text me. <laughs> um, email. Email us at the Gus and Low Show at gmail.com. And let me know how, how what will happen. I'm, I'm curious. Because you know at the Gus and Low Show, we are curious. We are curious, lads. Curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. If our listeners are better, we're better. In fact, it's a synergy. You guys make us better. We give you information, make you better. See how that works? See how it works, man. This is something. This is, uh, this is something. Telling you. Telling you. Uh, but I believe I was on the tangent of if you're about to give up or, you, or you've already given up. Oh, man. I encourage you to get back on the horse. This is not a one and done. This is not, you know, you're doing the tightrope. Over the Grand Canyon and you fall, you're dead. Just like a video game. You get another life. You can continue to play. Deepen your resolution. Be be resolute. That means you gotta dig deep. Gotta have some grit. You don't hear that word no more. Hell, people don't even eat it anymore, let alone use that word. Grit. It means you gotta mm, you gotta be like a dog after a bone. You have to be dogmatic. You have to want it fucking bad enough. But that's the that's the real fucking deal. And I don't care what that aspiration is. You want a better marriage? Your be- your marriage sucks. You know what? That's on those two individuals. It's not just one. You know, I, I, you know these these women. Yeah, my husband. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what the fuck do you do? How are you contributing? I heard a psychologist say that okay let's say it's 90 percent, 90 percent the man still 10 percent woman that's contributing to that bad marriage so changes have to be made so make those changes you know we, we you know we, we, we're so easy to bow out in the society come on divorce what's the word Irrec- oh my gosh, here we go. I, there's another word. I, irrec- you, know, you know what it is. You guys know what it is. Damn it. You know what? Shit. We may have to do a podcast on um, words Gus can't say. Irrec- oh my gosh. Differences. We've made it so fucking easy. Divorce. Uh, marriage was never meant to be, uh, to be to get out of easily. But we make everything easy to get out of. Like it's a lease. Leasing pussy. Leasing dick. Is that where we at? Is that where we had it? 
Oh, I'm sure there's some businesses. If it could, it would. <laughs> Lease pussy. Oh, that's a podcast. Are you Lisa pussy? Are you leasing dick? Damn. 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 I tell you what. I think I'm going to save that one for when I have a, uh, one of my guests. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. I The line for this podcast, it's, it's wrapping around a corner. It is wrapping around a corner. And I have some amazing individuals. For, for and and I do believe, and this is going out to the you know the listen the, the loyal listeners and followers. If you've been following us, especially when we've had guests, our guests knock it out the park or out the park. I was thinking about something else. <laughs> uh, men and women knock it. And to and you know to our to our past guests to our guests 2022 this is for you. What the okay, here we go. They knock it out the park. They knock it out the park, and I am a firm belief 2023 that's going to continue. It may even be ramped up some because it's, it's a reflection of these individuals. It's a reflection of the energy, the synergy that's involved with the Gus and Lowe show. Man, yeah. Lease and pussy, lease and dick. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that, that's probably a podcast for a couple of my guests who uh, I call it, they, you know, they, 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 they swim in the, in the, in the dark side. The dark side of things. The swingers, polygamists, they're out there. You may not know one, but you may, what is it, six degrees of separation? You may know a couple people. You know, you get five people in the room, somebody knows somebody who's a swinger. BBC. <laughs> Mm. What's the other motherfucking? What's the other? What's the other? Uh, cockled? Oh, what the fuck is that? You best believe. You best believe. We are going to chop that up. And if memory serves me correct, we're, we may or may not have uh, several individuals who who uh, uh, is into that hey you know what if we as human can eat duck heads then I, I guess a guy having enjoyment watching his wife get smashed by another dude I guess it's acceptable we can rationalize anything as humans Me personally, hell fucking no. I'm only child. Shit. Let me share my Doritos, my powdered donuts. My woman? Yes! Randy Watson! <laughs> that boy is good. Mm -hmm. Good and terrible. Mm -mm. Wrong button. Hell no, till the no, no, no. Let's chop that up. A guy, a, a guy who you know saw his woman, or saw this woman at one point, at one point in particular, in time, started conversating. This guy's just you know, he got to the point he couldn't live without her. Goes to marry her, to turn around. or somewhere down the road, or maybe he's always had this. I don't know. This is why we need to have guests to help us 
chop this up, expound on it. But he gets enjoyment of watching his wife get rammed by another individual. Wow. I call that the dark side. I, the, ladies and gentlemen, there's some things Gus will not do. I, I don't fool with the dark side. Never dealt with Tinder. I mean, I did online dating Tinder. I got to draw a line in the sand, ladies and gentlemen. What will you do? What will what what will you not do? In terms of sex, in terms of money, have some pride. Sheesh, come on. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that, that's alive and well in 2023. They have parties. I uh, was listening to a sex expert and the story she told. Whew, wow. Made a black man blush. Who we <laughs> let me flipping tell you? Should I throw her name out there? Because I mean, because she really has some interesting things to say. She has some brilliant bullet points. That's the dark side. Should I cross it? I'll let you guys know. And <laughs> I don't think that would happen in this lifetime. That's for sure. I'm, I'm a nature boy. I'm. Mm. What I am doing is working for me. Uh, <laughs> what I'm doing is working for me as I drink this uh, Korean ginseng drink. Um, as much as I like dropping dick, and I do in love, I do love, I enjoy, I enjoy dropping dick. For me, uh, just one woman, one woman would do. One woman, one woman would do. Cause think about it, fellas. Do we really want to be listening to fifteen different women? I mean, one's enough. They start to nagging, and good lord, you know, not pissing on you women, not pissing on you women, unless you're into that. See, here we go. Goes back to that fucking golden shower. Ooh. So that's the dark side. I, I don't get down like that. Mm -mm, I'm a square. If, if that's hip, then I'm a square. Fuck that. Just give me my steak. Give me my cigar. Give me my one woman. And we do our thing. Not putting that shit on social media. Not trying to get paid off of it. Shout out to Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Fuck. Damn it. Anyway, <laughs> back to the New Year's resolution. I said I was going to be brief. And here we are approaching the hour again. Imagine that. Imagine that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where was I? Let's uh, bring this back. Let's bring this back. Bring it back. Um, yeah. So back to you, New Year's resolution. Stick with it. If you fall off, get back up. It's okay. It's okay. It really is. This is not a one and done. Uh, this is not, you know, uh, boot camp. You get kicked out. No, just get back on, you know, because this is about you changing. Because I do believe, even if you were flapping your gums, I do believe there was some part of you that meant that. May have been 7%, may have been 20, uh, may have been 30. Uh, but they're, 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 and it happens to all of us when we go to change and what we didn't know. Uh, excuse me. It's the Korean Jensen. Um, you know, when we come up against an obstacle, we want to bow out like, oh, fuck. That's okay. This is America. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Dust yourself off. Look in the mirror and say, I'm a bad motherfucker. And keep going. Just change. Come on. You can do it. We're cheering for you. Just know that here at the Gus and Low Show, we believe in you. If nobody else believes in you. Gentlemen, if you told your, you know, told your wife, all right, ladies, 
family, we're gonna, I'm going to, and they fucking laughed at you. We, the Gus and Loaf show, we believe in you. Women, if you, you know, told your family, I ain't anybody this year, I'm not gonna, whatever that was, and they snickered, laughed, just know at the Gus and Loaf show, we believe in you. So keep going. If you fall, that's okay. Dust yourself off. All right. Uh, back in my notes. Uh, we think you can do it, and we are cheering for you. The real question is, how bad do you want it? I think I touched on that. There's a saying. There used to be a saying. It, it's still out there. You just don't hear it a whole lot. But I remember it back in the 70s. Don't write a check your ass can't cover. Let me say that again. Don't write a check your ass can't cover. Which basically means, don't say it if you cannot back it up. Now, back in the day, that kind of pertains mainly to, man, this is a good cigar. It likes this. It likes this. Uh, back in the day, kind of, it was kind of reserved. You kind of heard it, you know, in regards to fighting. Don't pick a fight with somebody. Shit, that you know, don't 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 start a fight if you ain't gonna finish it. Because okay, you may want to fight, but this guy may be scorched fucking earth. So you thinking, okay, this is going to be a little, you know, little Donnie Brooks, little scuffle. Nah, this fucker is, he's trying to obliterate you off the fucking planet so that your mama feels it. That's how we used to do back in the 70s. Um, even the 80s. Um, now, you know, motherfuckers just want to shoot. I'm going to shoot you. Fuck it. Bitch ass. Everybody take it. People afraid, see, and that's the other thing. Going back to the resolution, pain, discomfort. We don't like that shit. We don't like that shit. Oh, this hurt. I'm hungry. Drink some fucking water. Drink enough water, you'll drown those hunger pains. This is uncomfortable. Get get out your fucking, well, come on, we all know the saying. You want change? Get out your comfort zone. We, but we like being comfortable. Yes, as humans, we love being comfortable. But I adopted a long time ago. I'm comfortable being uncomfortable. And somewhere along the line of you being resolute, you're going to have to adopt that. Like, hey, this is what it's going to fucking take. We all love the soldiers. But guess what? They had to go through boot camp and the rigorous training. You think they like that shit? But they had a bigger goal in mind to be the best of the best, to be, you know, fucking soldier. Not, they're not sitting around eating Twinkies, playing Xbox all damn day, eating duck heads. Shit. So going back to uh, going back to this. Um, and once again, for you who are lose who are losing, you feel like you're losing your resolve. I suggest you go to QA Coffee.com because QA Coffee helps improve your mental endurance. QA Coffee is for thinkers like Los and I at the Gus and Los show. To know more, go to QA Coffee.com. That's the letter Q, the letter N, the letter A dot com. Don't forget to try Eyes Wide, which is the first release, as well as North Star, which helps spur creativity what the hell did you just oh damn it oh man <laughs> Q&A coffee Q&A coffee Q&A coffee that's what's up shout out to our producer Jim who um man I was uh remiss um He's, he, he, he's, he has tried it and he loves it. And the last time I was over his house, he, he damn near put me in the stranglehold. He's like, hey, you got some more of that fucking Q&A coffee? I'm like, hey, okay, Jim. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, that Q&A coffee is the truth. Um, ladies and gentlemen, try it. Try it. Go to Q&A coffee. Fuck, you on fucking Amazon all damn night. Or... Um, on somebody's uh, what is it? My fans only, whatever the fuck. I'm just, I just, I'm just coming to the knowledge of that shit. This, in TikTok, go to Q and A, do something. Go to Q and A Coffee to be a better you. Fuck TikTok. 
Hey, Birdie. You're brave. You're brave, Birdie. Yes, you are. You know what? Let me give you a shout out, little Birdie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do my thing. Here we go. <laughs> shout out to the brave Birdie. He just sitting here chilling. My man. See? That's why I'm the nature boy. I'm one with nature. <laughs> Shit, I mean, I feel I'm drinking this fucking Korean ginseng. Man, I haven't had this in fucking years. This fucking root. I don't know. It looks like it could be octopus dick. Octopi dick. Is octopi plural? Not sure. But let's just stick with. Um. Yeah, I don't know. If I could envision what an octopus dick would look like, it would be this, the root. So this root, the Korean ginseng root, is actually in the bottle. And for and for those who would say, mm, I don't want to drink that. You get oh, give me a fucking break. You eat your green bean casserole and fucking uh, chitterlings. Kiss my ass. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna piss on my fucking Korean ginseng root. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. I don't know where that came from. I think the bird hit that button. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All right, let's wrap this up. All right. Uh, as I was saying, uh, no, 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 no. Don't write a check. Your ass can't cast. Yeah, just be resolute. If you fall, get back up. We all started somewhere. We showing the damn deal. I mean, come on. We all came out the womb crawling. But we learn things. And uh, more importantly, as adults, you have to have the tools. for Because this adulting shit, come on, let's let's if, if we can't agree on one thing, this adulting shit is wow. Especially with the advent of fucking social media. Adulting is a has become a motherfucker. But you know what? You should get some pride, a pride of joy that you can maneuver this shit and do it well. For yourself and for your family. And just as an individual. This shit's hard. I don't condone it. I understand why motherfuckers do drugs. I understand why motherfuckers just drink themselves to death. I saw a... Uh, no, I was listening to a... Um, something came across my Instagram feed. And this woman said, Women know how to suffer well. Men don't. And I thought that was fucking deep. I'm going to say that again, because I think that is deep. And I've never 52. I'll be 53 in a couple months. Damn it. 2023. Motherfucker. I've never heard this in 52 years. But that's why I'm grateful for each and every day, because I'm I'm I'm, I'm I like to learn. I, I will learn to the day to my last fucking breath. Well, my last breath, I won't be learning anything. But this woman said, women know how to suffer. Men do not. I'm going to just leave you with that. Think about that. Ponder on that. And if you agree or disagree, feel free to hit us up at the Gus and Low Show at gmail.com. That's a deep fucking statement. I've seen that shit. We men, we'll, not, we'll, we'll, we'll go to drugs. I mean, not drugs, but maybe drugs. Alcohol and just death by a thousand fucking cuts women they'll walk through life just you know being invisible not giving a fuck but just suffering suffering from what who knows trauma I'm sure trauma low self esteem you pick pick the card that's another topic uh, for the podcast for sure um, but as I wrap this up if you fall get back up we all started somewhere and even if you quit you will be in good company Who's this good company? Let me get my notes. Let me get my notes. Who's this good company you speak of, Gus? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> you, dear sir, dear ma'am, will be in good company such as 
Chad Johnson and Evelyn Lozada. You know, for you Bengal fans, NFL uh, followers, you know who Chad Johnson is. The wide receiver with the big freaking mouth. Couldn't cut it. Couldn't cut it at New England. Couldn't learn the playbook. That's what they said. He got married. Lasted 41 days. The fuck is that? 41 days? So this guy, this guy's walking. Uh, his dog, he's looking like, what the fuck is this guy doing? He's cool, though. No, I don't, no, I don't know this dude. I hope he doesn't stick that damn dog on me. <sighs> Shit. So, um, yeah. My man Chad Johnson got married for 41 days. The fuck is that? The fuck is that about? Or, still feeling bad? How about Tracy Edmonds and Eddie Murphy? Now, for you R&B followers and lovers, she was Babyface's wife for a long time. Fine-looking woman. Fine black woman. Fine. I would have never approached her. But my man Eddie Murphy, he took a stab at that. That marriage lasted 14 days. Fuck is that about? <laughs> Pamela Anderson and her some she married some fucking douchebag. Married for 12 days. Fuck is that about? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Now, who could ever forget? Some of y'all weren't even born, so these names may not register. Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra? Went to her club. It was fan fucking tastic. Then it went downhill. Dennis Robin. Say what you will about the man personally. Hell of an NBA player. Hell of an NBA player. Hell, how many rings did he win with Chicago? Four? Shit. All right, SA. Mm-hmm. That marriage lasted. <laughs> Shit. Like, we didn't see this coming fucking coming. Nine days? Like, we didn't see that coming. I'd bet five. Fucking nine? Sheesh, you still feel bad about quitting? You feel, you know, do you feel like you want to get back on the horse? Because you can, because you you did better if you if you flamed out. If you think about flaming out, listen to these motherfuckers. Don't be a flamer. And I'm, I think I'm using that in the wrong context, but for this context of the conversation, I'm using the word flamer. Uh, Britney Spears and whatever fucking douchebag. Um. Fucking 55 hours. Yes, 55 fucking hours. What the fuck is that about? And if you're still feeling bad that you flamed out, just know there was a couple in Kuwait. I believe this was 2020, I believe. Uh, could be wrong. Their marriage lasted three minutes. Three minutes. No, I didn't leave a, a three out. So I have to say 33 minutes, three flipping minutes. And this and this is how this is why it lasted three minutes as I was reading this. And I'm like, damn, you can't make this up. And I understand why this lasted three minutes. So this couple in Kuwait, they got they went to the justice of the peace, got married on their way out, I believe, out of the building. They were out of the chambers, out of the building. She, she slipped and she slipped and fell. I'm not sure what she slipped and fell on, but she slipped and fell. Her now husband laughed at her. And said. 
completely stupid. Baby girl got the fuck up, went back, went back to that um, magistrate's chambers and said, R -r -r get this, R -r -r this shit's over. So that, I understand, good for her, because if that motherfucker did that within the, within three minutes of saying, I will love this woman until death, for rich or poor, till death do his part, forsaking all others she she i believe she saw something like my life is about to be hell so you know what i don't fault i, I do not fault her at all matter of fact baby girl wherever you are you get you get this this is for you come on play please She absolutely, she absolutely did the right thing. Good for her. Good for her. Because yeah, she signed up for hell. I mean, and that, and that dude, man, I'm pretty sure he's having a horrible existence. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the Gus and Loaf Show, episode 42. New year, new you, maybe. Come on, guys, you can do it. You can do it. Get back on the horse if you fall. Get back up. Get back up. Still need some inspiration? Just take a li listen. Listen to those uh, examples I just gave you. And if you know anybody that's fla about to flame out, uh, mention that. Maybe they'll feel better. Maybe it will inspire them. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. A big thank you. <laughs> For listening to us, helping us grow. 2023 uh yeah the, the gus and low show is expanding we're making changes trimming the fat uh a lot of people saying oh man you should, you should go video i will go video when it's time i don't like to half-ass shit i don't like to make a i don't like to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if i don't have any jelly i got the peanut butter i'm just waiting for the jelly then I will go video. Uh, so, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, all, and always a big thank you to Q&A Coffee dot com. Q&A Coffee helps improve your mental endurance. Q&A Coffee is for thinkers like Los and I, the Gus and Low Show. To know more, go to Q&A Coffee.com. That's the letter Q, the letter N, the letter A.com. Don't forget to try Eyes Y, which is the first release, as well as North Star, which helps spur creativity. Also, big shout out to Midwest Mobile Cigars. Midwest Mobile Cigars is a local business that caters to the premium cigar novice. Even the aficion aficiono oh gosh, the expert, cigar expert. You know what? I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that word. I, I don't like that. I'm, I'm getting tripped up by that. Uh, the company continues to grow with services and the experience that the customers desire. Mobile West Cigars will always provide the services and needs that customers desire. To know more, go to Q, you know, <laughs> to know more, go to mcclounge.com. That is mmclounge.com. And thank you to you guys for listening, for uh, letting us grace your ears, uh, spread the word. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button on your um podcasting platform so that we can get accurate numbers we're really trying to focus in on accurate numbers to see who's listening where they're at uh it just helps us it helps us to streamline things and cater and you know and, and helps us to uh figure out what topics to go with so once again do that be sure to do that if you're a first time listener be sure to hit that like and so like and subscribe button and uh 
you know, to receive notifications of when the podcast drops and you can listen, spread the word, uh, listen to this in the car, listen to this with your, I'm not going to say family, with your adult company, if you will. <laughs> no kids, no kids, no kids, no kids. No, nah, this is, uh, this is rated R. This, if, we, if we were a movie, we would be rated R, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, keep listening. Uh, it's a new year, guys. It can be, an, it is a new year, and it can be a new you. Make it happen. Make it happen. You, you, you don't know until you try, and you may be surprised with the outcome. We love you guys. Thank you. Have a great day.